Greetings! In today's video, I wanted to showcase two special Van Gogh palettes and also talk about the Rembrandt palettes a little bit. So first of all, I just saw that Van Gogh has made a special palette, a special watercolor palette in collaboration with the Van Gogh Museum in the Netherlands. The palette itself is quite unique. It features a different colored plastic for the palette, so it's this bright red-orange color instead of the usual white. And it also features a unique selection. It looks really, really nice, and I'm not sure it's available outside of the shop of the Van Gogh Museum. It's quite interesting, and I'm, I might seek out some of these colors separately in the future. The second Van Gogh palette that I wanted to show is a special collaboration between a Russian art supply shop and Van Gogh. They made this palette that they called St. Petersburg, and it features colors that were chosen because they would fit well in St. Petersburg. As you can see, it's a set with a lot of muted colors, and they also have in there a graphite color that seems to be a bit shimmery like graphite is. And it's a really interesting color selection. I really like it. I don't think you can get this set outside of the Russian art supply store, but it's not made from any unique or special edition colors. If you can't get the set, it's possible to replicate it using regular Van Gogh stock. It would seem that this palette started out as a April's Fool's joke, but then people reacted so strongly and favorably to the idea that eventually they collaborated with royal talents to actually make a St. Petersburg palette. So I thought that was pretty entertaining and fun. Lastly, I wanted to mention something that I haven't seen mention a lot, but that has been there for quite some time. Rembrandt, which is also a royal talents company, has many sets out there that are special curated color selections that are really fun and really interesting. You have color sets like granulating color selection or some special effect colors like interference or chameleon colors. They also have a set that is meant to be mixed with opaque white and they have one for landscape, they have one for portrait. And all these sets are available both in tubes and in pans. As far as I can tell, for me, these kind of flew under the radar and I only heard about them through some people in the community, but not a lot of buzz was made around these. You can find more info on them at the Royal Talents website, and also I saw that Blick Art Materials has the palettes available on their website. So that's definitely something that is worth checking out if you are interested in these color selections. That's it for today, thank you very much for watching, and see y'all next time, bye bye!